Hey everybody, this is Karen. I'm in the laundry room in my apartment complex. That's why you hear an echo. <laughs> I went to the Salvation Army yesterday, and on Wednesdays they everything, well not everything, but their clothes are half off. And, um, are they half off? Yeah, half off. And um, I got quite a nice haul. Um, I already see a couple of these might be a little bit too small for Maggie. So I'll have to go and try on, you know, try them on her. And if they're too small and you want them, just let me know and I'll just send them, send them on, on their way. So most of these were $1.99, um, 99 cents. Um, I got quite a lot of onesies, or, well, not quite a lot, but five onesies that so were 99 cents each. So that came down to 50 cents. And I don't think anything cost over two ninety nine full price, so I didn't pay any more than a um, dollar fifty for each of these items. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Most of these I think are a dollar. So the first sleeper is with a butterfly, and I'm doing this with this because it has a lot better detail with Android than it does with um, the other the camera that I use for other videos. And I just wanted to do an, a little update, a little feet. So cute. An update on how I'm doing. I've decided to get an extraction. Um, I've called and called and called and called a lot of people. I don't want to put anything negative on this haul though, because there's a lot of good stuff um, and nobody really cares. So um, I, I have called and called and called. Many people talk to them, see if I can get root canal and nobody just nobody really cares um everybody sent me to somebody else and i mean when i say i've called people i have called people and um nobody cares so um i can't wait because they said it was going to take three to six weeks for the referral to come back <laughs> to see if i can have a root canal i'm already about four weeks in pain and i can't do another three to six weeks but they're, um, I don't really like um, sports, but this is the New York Yankees, and it's very colorful, that's why I like it, and it's a really nice um, sleeper. So, um, I'm still in pain, I still have, and then these come with middies too, the built-in middies. Some people call them mitts, some people call them mittens, I call them middies because of my niece. <laughs> And this looks like it's it's um, a large newborn. There's this with all monkeys all over it. Very cute. These are all Carters, by the way. I can't believe I got those all for like a dollar, dollar fifty. I know this one will fit her though. This is little sweetie with a. I love anything with like cuppy cakes on them and it's all that stuff. So I spent about $30, which is a lot, but I got a lot of stuff, too. So those are all that. And the reason why we're in the laundry room is because um, I don't I don't put anything even on a doll without first washing, you know, washing downy, washing tide. So what's the next pile? I got a couple of pants. Surprisingly, the pants cost more than the sleepers. A pair of pants with some little rufflies on the bottom. Just green granimals. Oh, they're backwards. I don't think it matters though. And then I got a pair of blue ones. Very cute. Dollar fifty for both. Well, for three dollars for both. And then I will do the onesies. There's one for Gerber with a little cuppy cakes on them. Here's a long sleeve. I love kisses. I love the cute little detail on the bow. There's one. There's just a teeny, teeny, teeny hole right here. And I'm just going to have to take some pink thread and, and just stitch that. Because if I don't, that's going to unravel pretty quickly. But there's a cute um, little bumblebee right there. A lot of pink. This says little sweetie. So more cuppy cakes. And this one is really, really, really cute. It says, Sweetheart with Roses, and it's a Gerber. I love those flowers. So all those were 50 cents each. So I got $1. So 
So I paid $2.50 for five onesies. That is not bad. Okay, so then there's more to come. And then there's this pile. This is a really nice um, spring or fall coat. It's very um, fluffy, very soft. Um, and it's from Absorba. I don't, I've never heard of that brand before. Um, but it's very cute. There's all silver pokey dots on the inside. That's three to six months, so we'll see if it fits or if not, then I'll be sending it on its way to somebody else. Um, I still really want to do another giveaway, but that's, I gotta wait till after all these medical issues are, are over, and then I will certainly do another giveaway. So there's that coat. And then here's like another, like a little hoodie. It's a little bunny in the pocket. It's so cute. A little bunny in the pocket. And this is from who? Carter's. Cute hot pink hoodie. I think it's three to six. It's three to six. Nope, just three months. So this should fit her. Very cute. I could not not get that. This is a vintage. Vintage Care Bears all jacket. Oh, that was my favorite one, by the way. This brings me back to my childhood. And here, like, a little ruffle lace. And anything that had spots, I took Resolve, and I really just um, tried to get the stuff out. There's going to be a couple that has little minor spotting. There was some in the back here, and I don't see it anymore, so yay. <laughs> It is a little um pilly. You know what I mean? It just it's a little um but so pretty. And then I love this sleeve and it has the bow with that lace, that ribbon coming down. And then the little ruffles on the hem. And then I love all I love any detailing with the flowers on the collar. So pretty. This baby is a zero to three months romper. Got all that ruffles here. They're um, flutterbys. <laughs> Very cute. And the next one is one of my favorites in the whole group. This watermelon romper is so cute. It has a couple pins up on the side. It's from Baby's Rest, two to three months. I love this. This is so cute. And then it's just romper down here with some ruffles. I love this one. Look at all that detail. Somebody spent a lot of time making that. And then there's this pretty, pretty dress. I'm going to have to iron it. It just needs a little bit of ironing. But here's... um. I love that. That's kind of like um, old-fashioned, very old-fashioned with the... The hem right there. Then if I take this and widen this a little bit. Cute little belt with a weird looking bow in the middle. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's getting hot in here. And that is from the children's place. Zero to three months. Let's see the back and it has like at the button down back. Very cute. It does have a little bit of a, um, a liner. All this I got yesterday at Salvation Army in this cute dress with these buttons down the middle, again the ruffles. And then I had to get it, you know why? Because the name is, if you can see that name, Maggie and Zoe. <laughs> I don't know that there is a, um, a place called Maggie and Zoe or a clothing line. And this one has a little bit of a, a liner as well. This is just such a cute cute dress and then this is one of my favorites this is very vintage this i believe is from old navy is it from old navy or was it from nope it's old navy i love the lines coming along here you can see that 
it's kind of like a box cut, like a boxier cut. And this would be great for fall because there's long sleeves, the ruffles on the sleeve. And <laughs> this when I saw it, you can tell it's expensive when there's a zipper on the back. That's exactly what I said. I have no idea how much anybody paid for this, but I love this. This is such a beautiful dress. And then, so Maggie got all that. And this is what Benjamin got. Poor buddy. My mommy's, my mommy loves me. This is a very cute sleeper. And that's all he got because boy stuff in that Salvation Army is always scarce. There's hardly ever any boy stuff. But we got one thing. So I got this with all these sleepers and all these onesies and the pants and all these dresses and tops for 30 bucks. That's, I, I believe that's an awesome. I'm sure this with just a couple of these dresses would have cost $30 in store, you know. So I'm happy. Plus I needed a lot more. I needed some, um, what is it, onesie and pants. So it would be cute to like um, pair this with the blue pants because it's got that color blue inside the cupcake. So yay! As far as my health, I am just I'm gonna have to call a dentist and tell them to extract the tooth. Um, I I got my teeth extracted, two teeth extracted about five to six years ago, and it was a very traumatic event for me. Um, the bedside manner of this dentist was not at all. Um, so they just gave me a sheet of paper, a piece of paper, said, go home, follow the instructions on this piece of paper, and then that's it. They gave me no pain pills. They gave me nothing. Um, I was in such pain for days and obviously couldn't eat a whole lot. I went home, made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and had to cut it up into 15 pieces <laughs> just to eat it. Um, so I'm hoping that they will inform me this time on, on how to take care of it and everything. So, yeah, but I just wanted to update you on that. But I didn't want to take all, you know, the whole haul away from it because I wanted you guys to enjoy all these wonderful clothes that I just got. And again, let me just pause this for a second, guys. So I got my bag of laundry on my way home. Throw it over my shoulder like Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. This is, by the way, the laundry room. The washers and dryers are in there. This is just a big space. Just to hang out in, I guess. They had, used to have a lot more chairs when I first moved in, but kids. And then there's a place for you to fold your laundry. And that machine over there is for you to... Um, actually, I'll show you this. They don't use quarters here. They use um, a card. You take your credit card and you put money on this card and you put the chip into the um, to the washer or the dryer and they take $1.50 per load. So as far as how much it costs here, they do a great job. Unless the, um, the washer or the dryer is not working too well, um, they always get done. So, I thank you so much for watching my haul, and I'm going back home. And I'll see you later. Okay guys, I'm home. I don't know if you could see it the last time I was recording. It was pretty sunny. Um, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been praying for me who've been um, wishing warm thoughts and, and good thoughts. Um, and I just, I am so appreciative. I'm just so thankful and so glad to have found people that actually care. Mm -hmm. It's very rare in this world to find those kind of people that actually care about my, about me, that like me, that love me, that care about my well-being. And it is just... I'm very grateful. I'm so grateful. Um, 
So I just want to say that to y'all. I'm, I'm just, your prayers don't go unanswered. They're, they don't go, you know, um, up to the clouds and, and nobody gets them, you know, they, um, God sees everything and, and, um, and I'm just so grateful and, and you, um, certainly will get blessings for all the prayers that you, that you give. So I love you ladies too. And I'm just, just thank you so much for being just genuinely good, caring, kind hearted people. That is very rarity in this world right now. So, um, I love you back and, um, thank you so much. And to Rose, congratulations on your new reborn, on your new little arrival. I'm so happy for you. And um, I just pray for a lot more good things to come for this group. These uh, wonderful ladies that I've, that I've just um, very dearly love and appreciate. I pray, um, you know, claim wonderful and good things to come. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.